firepower against fanatics. That's the battle that's being fought in the Swat Valley as the Pakistani army pushes forward in its attempt to destroy the Taliban. With international journalists barred from the war zone, pictures obtained by News at 10 show Pakistani troops bombarding buildings suspected of being Taliban hideouts. There are now some 15,000 Pakistani troops confronting about 5,000 militants in a struggle that is crucial for the country's future. In recent weeks, the Taliban have become increasingly brazen as their power in the tribal areas of western Pakistan has grown. They are well equipped and ruthless. The challenge for the government is to eliminate this threat without plunging the country into years of terrorist war. As the fighting spreads, thousands of civilians are still fleeing their homes. This is the main road south, jammed with refugees. This old lady said she'd walked for days to get away from the shell fire. A local businessman sobbed as he appealed to the government. He said large numbers of people are still trapped in the battle zone without food, water or electricity. He called on the authorities to protect them and bring them out. The tragedy of the civilians caught in the conflict is now a crisis for the government. Pakistan's Prime Minister says that his country will win the military struggle against the Taliban, but could yet lose the public relations war if the refugee situation is allowed to get worse. And with thousands more people streaming out of the war zone, there's increasing pressure on Pakistan's army to achieve decisive results before public support for the operation begins to sag. Julian Mannion, News at 10, Islamabad.